Hey there. Ableton Live 11 obviously has a lot of cool new creative features, from new audio effects to some new instrument packs. But there's also some great new features that songwriters are really excited about. Namely, these are take lanes. Yes, you can finally comp in Ableton Live. And scale mode, which makes creating bass lines, chord progressions, and melodies a whole lot easier. So it's only two topics that we're gonna cover, but they're very rich ones. So we're gonna spend ample time diving in and learning all about these so you feel confident enough to get out there and start using them as soon as possible. That sounds good, let's go. Okay, take lanes. Take lanes are a big deal for producers who record and edit vocals or really any acoustic instrument. There's a couple ways to use take lanes, but let's start with the most common, which is vocal comping. The way you wanna do it is set up a loop in the arrangement view like this, then hit record and record a bunch of passes. The number of passes that you do is totally up to you and who you're working with. Okay, when you're done recording, what you're gonna now do is right or control click on your track and select show take lanes. And now you can see all your different takes fold out below. Now what your job is, is to go through and select the best parts. The way you do that is you can click your B key to bring up your pencil or you can click up here, click the pencil icon. Either way, you're entering draw mode. And what you're gonna do is go through and swipe the best parts, like so. To be clear, what you're doing is you're going through and picking the best parts and forming a compilation that will be up here at the top. Basically, you're looking for the best bits that you can combine to make the best performance possible. So after you've found those best parts, right, control click, and unselect show take lanes. And now you got your comp track. If you ever wanna go back and re-edit things, no problem, simply repeat the process. Pretty simple, really, but this general method is just very professional, way better than the way you had to do things before in Ableton Live. So check this out, it's great. Couple tips I wanna mention. While you're editing, you can isolate a specific take to hear it and essentially audition it. The way you do that is by clicking one of these speaker icons. This is called auditioning a take. Or alternatively, I actually like to use the T key. I'm a big fan of keyboard shortcuts, so simply select and hit T on your keyboard. Either way works. And while you're auditioning them like this, it's often a good idea before you even start comping to give them helpful names so that you can keep things kind of in order. So I like to give them names like, you know, really good, best, bad. And along the same lines, I like to reorder them. So I'd probably put best at the top, this blank one I would put at the bottom, really good, bad, meh, we can keep right there. Whatever makes sense for you, but I think that's a pretty decent way of doing it. All right, let me show you another way that you can use takes that is a little less traditional, but it's a lot of fun. I have a bunch of drum loops. This is one that I made right here. And then I have this one from Vesper's Dark Side Funk Pack. This is a Black Octopus one, Afrobeat Elements.
This one is also from Black Octopus. Delicious house drums and loops. Okay, now as you can see, they're on normal audio tracks. Now what I'm gonna do is on one of them, it doesn't matter which, I'm gonna right or control click and choose insert take lane. Nice, now we can start utilizing take lanes. Do it again, insert take lane, drag this one in, insert take lane, and one more. Okay, now all the drum loops are in take lanes. And I actually like to keep this top one empty. This allows me to leave blank space or silence if it sounds cool. And now I'm just gonna, again, B key, swipe around until I find something that sounds kind of cool. So for me, this is a lot of fun. I just took four pretty different drum loops and mashed them together. If you're a fan of the glitch, definitely check this out. It's a lot of fun. And you could use the same technique with melodic loops or drag in a bunch of different bass lines in the same key and just kind of mix and match them until they sound good. There's a whole world of possibilities here. Make sure to add take lanes to your bag of tricks. All right, let's dig into the new scale function. This is one of my hip hop templates and I'll include a link to this if you wanna download it. It's nothing too crazy, just some percussion. I got an 808, some synths, some vocals. Check it out if you want. But anyway, so I have a pretty basic beat here. Let's try making a chord progression utilizing the scale function. So I'm gonna go to this trap pad and create a four bar loop. I'll select in the timeline and click Shift Command M. Now we have a four bar loop. Now look over here on the left, we have the scale function on by default. And with scale mode on, notes that fit into the chosen scale get a slight color highlight in the piano roll. So you can see some of these notes are gray, but others have this purple highlighting to them. You can actually use the K key on your keyboard to turn the highlighting on and off. The important thing here is you wanna put your MIDI notes onto the highlighted notes so that everything remains in key. Let's now make a chord progression in, yeah, E minor works, but if you wanted to choose another key, you totally can. A ton of different ones you can choose from. But we'll be doing E minor. The B key, and let's see what I come up with. Okay, I think I'm digging that as a basis for this song. Now the fold button works as it did before. When you hit it, you only see the notes that already have MIDI on them. But now there's this new scale button and the scale button is really cool because if you hit this, you don't even see any of the grayed out notes, but you still have options to put MIDI notes anywhere you want, assuming they fit the scale. All right, let's move on and add a bass line. Shift-Command-M. E minor, all good there. And I'll select both of them. And I'm going to focus on the bass. And let's just see what I come up with.
Again, because I hit the scale button, all of the notes that I'm seeing right now are in the key of E minor. And of course, from here, you can go and add a melody track or whatever you want and keep it all in key. And one final thing that a lot of people are gonna be really psyched about, particularly if you know a lot about music theory, is now you have the ability to right or control click in the keyboard. It has to be on one of the white or black notes. And you can choose to see sharps, flats, or sharps and flats. There's nowhere near enough time in this video for me to go into explaining why this is really important in music theory terms. But trust me, this is something that people have been asking for forever in Ableton Live, and it definitely makes live songwriting tools a lot more sophisticated. So that's it. I hope you got excited to try out take lanes and scale mode in Ableton Live 11. If you enjoyed this video, there's a bunch more like it over at warpacademy.com. There's even a seven day free trial, so you can test drive the tutorials, courses, and live streams. It's totally free, so give it a shot. Keep making awesome music, and I'll see you next time. Peace.